information. This one apparently man-made. That's right. Good morning, Sam. Good morning to you at home. A young man is in custody this morning, accused of setting this wildfire just north of Sacramento. Crews say one home and six vehicles burned before they could get the wildfire contained. This is one of 5,200 fires across the state and federal land in California this year. 74,000 acres burned, but that's fewer acres than this time last year. NBC's Miguel Almaguer has the story. Areas, yes, we've got more rain coming your way after nearly a foot of rain for some spots in the Tampa St. Pete area. Tropical update right now, and I've got Michael Lauer here to talk about what's happening over here in the Gulf of Mexico, close to the west coast of Florida. We look at the radar, Michael, and you know, you see some sense of a circulation. You do. There's a weak area of low pressure up here near Cedar Key. Uh, the circulation is almost inland at this point, but pretty weak. Most mm -hmm. of the thunderstorms obviously away from where the center of that circulation is, but rotating around it and right into the areas that don't need more rain. These spots, you know, nearly a foot of rain, Holiday, Florida, Newport, Ritchie, numbers coming in I like... 10 and a half, 11 and a half. Yeah, and this isn't an organized tropical cyclone, right. but it's bringing that type of rainfall to parts of Florida. Uh, this is along, there's a front up here, a stalled frontal boundary. Uh, this area of low pressure, it's drifting toward the northeast. You can see that the strong winds at the upper part of the atmosphere is keeping the convection yeah, down you, you to the south. You can see this with the cloud tops getting blown off. The thunderstorm tops are getting blown well downstream, but you still have that yes. moisture and that's sort of drifting onshore. So our saving grace in all of this is the, is the upper winds, the shear, and also that this is moving inland. Uh, there's a ridge of high pressure down here to the south that's building in. Jen, it's gonna follow mm -hmm. the flow of that ridge out into the Atlantic Ocean. We'll be done with this, at least this low, um, come this weekend, but the rainfall is gonna continue. I mean, there's an old front here, and until we get rid of that, We've, yeah. got, we've got moisture, dew points in the 70s. You know, you step outside in Florida, it feels like it can rain. Yes, it, it certainly yeah. feels like summer. It's sticky down there. Uh, I hope we don't see five to eight more inches in Pasco County. That is the last thing that they yeah. need there. So we need to keep an eye on this, even though it's not an organized tropical cyclone. All right, but speaking of keeping an eye on things, this is the time of year when we start looking out more towards the Central Atlantic. We look mm -hmm. off the coast of Africa for development. Yeah, the, the conditions in the uh, Eastern Atlantic, this is the time of year that they become ripe for tropical mm -hmm. development. And Jen, our strongest uh, tropical cyclones, you know this, are birthed here. This is the birthplace of, of our strongest hurricanes. I mean, not too far from the Cape Verde Islands, right? Yes. So we, we call this the Cape Verde season. Once we get into August, you see these tropical waves come off of Africa, and sometimes they develop and they travel across the Atlantic. They do. This year. Little, what do we think? These well, prospects in the near term are not good. No, they're not. The water vapor picture, you were showing this earlier this morning. It's just incredible to look at this. The red colors is where all of the dry air is in the Atlantic Ocean. Dry, sinking air. Tropical cyclones feed off of uh, water vapor, water content in the atmosphere. Very, very dry here, uh, almost seeing purple colors uh, near the Canary Islands. You know, if you have any friends that are in the Caribbean on vacation and have been posting pictures on Facebook or Instagram, you'll uh -huh. notice that the sky really isn't that blue. It's kind of milky, mm -hmm. right? And that's all that dry, dusty air getting all the way down over into the Caribbean Islands. Yeah, it's just incredible that the, this dry air can go 4,000, 5,000 mm -hmm. miles clear across the Atlantic Ocean and impact us here in the United States. It really is. Um, all right, so East Pac has been the active spot, though. Yes. We do still have two areas to watch. We should talk about these. Uh, the first, Tropical Depression 8, not really much uh, to write home on. It's expected to stay a Tropical Depression. It could become a tropical storm very briefly, um, but for the most part, going to stay weak, not going to make it out to Hawaii. This one, though, Jim, behind it, 91E, a, a good chance this will develop, and the interesting uh, part of this story is the track keeping it to the south over the warmer waters. All the models kind of clustering, yes. you know, in general, the same vicinity. Once they can get out in time, of course, there's right. some uh, some change. But um, Hawaii, we got to keep watch on this Plenty one. Plenty of time to watch it, but yeah, absolutely. With the stat about Hawaii and El Nino year, what did you tell me? In an El Nino year, three times more likely to see tropical cyclone impacts right. uh, than in, an, in a La Nina year. So, um, okay. Yeah. We are in an El Nino year. El Nino year. Yep. All right, Michael, thank you.